one. And here's that devotional for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. Entitled, What a Friend. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. John 15, 15, ES, ESV. There are some friends who just get you. When you see one another, even after months or years apart, you simply picked up, pick up where you left off. There's no discomfort, no need for small talk, and polite introductions happened a long time ago, but... But... Huh. But this types of friends are keepers. Jesus is one of those friends. In Facebook. fact, now, he's the Michelle perfect Williams friend. On a post. He knows all your sins, insecurities, and embarrassments, and he loves you unconditionally. He sees you fail every single day, and he still wants to spend time with you. Amazing, isn't it? If you haven't spoken to Jesus in a while, go to him with confidence. See him running toward you, eager to welcome you back. Feel him embrace you tenderly and relax in the realization that he is faithful to you. Jesus' friendship provides rest for our striving, searching, discontented souls. What a friend we have in him. You are the best friend I've ever had, Jesus. You're always here for me. Thank you. Wow, isn't that awesome? Praise God. And it's kind of cool because the Lord has placed people in my life that have become that for me. Even ones that claim to not believe in Him. And I just pray that that they come to Him every day. I pray every day that I can be a light to them. But, you know, um, but praise God. Isn't that awesome that Jesus truly is that friend? I don't know. I'm I'm just stuck on what they said at the beginning about how you know, people that you have a rapport with like that, that you just pick up right where you left off after a while. My insecurities can keep that from really being a reality, no matter how close a friendship is. Because I'm like, well, you know, are they still my... You know, it's just a stupid insecurity that I have. Are they still my friend? Are they tired of me? Are they... Uh, have I offended them? You know, have I... You know, these are my stupid insecurities. But I praise God that Jesus knows it all. So I don't have to have that problem with him because he I, he knows it all anyway. And plus I tell all of it to him anyways. Praise God. And so I'm going to sing this song. So you got to help me. This is my very, very favorite song ever. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Hear those words. Rewind this and listen to those words. What peace we often forfeit. What needless pain we bear. All because we don't let, we don't carry everything to him in prayer. Wow. Lord, help us. Help us to just be able to really know for ourselves the friendship that you give us and that you are waiting to give us. Thank you, Jesus. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.